confrontational exchanges. Um, I've been coming here for five years now, and I was going to talk to you about some practical things that I thought you could change about 3210, but I've changed my mind. Um, I've been really confused over the last five years as to why we spend 45 minutes to an hour of every public meeting talking about how great everyone is and how great everything is in the schools, and now I've figured it out. I've figured it out because all these people came here to defend you all from hurtful words. This is obnoxious. Let me just say, there is one goal for the educational system. It should be to prepare children to enter careers to be productive members of society. It is not a counseling session. It is not a self-help area. It is not somewhere to find yourself. And we should not be led by the children, for goodness sake. The children are called dependents for a reason. They depend on us who have fully developed brains. You cannot feel your way through life. The issues that we are talking about, we are bringing you statistics. We are talking about scholastics. We are talking about funding. We are talking about busing. We are talking about trying to figure out how to make our children be as successful as possible. And I am sure that that is your goal. And what we have been called tonight is what they're claiming that we're saying to children. We're having an adult conversation. There are not children in this room. We aren't going into the schools and calling them names. They call us Marxists and hateful and bigots and everything else under the sun. Well, let me tell you, Less than 5% of the entire population of North Carolina identifies as LGBTQ. You guys all claim you want democracy. Well, you know what democracy is? It's the majority plus one. It's 50 plus one. You know what? More than 50% of the people in this state claim that they believe in God, Almighty God, who made us male and female. God who made marriage between a man and a woman. God who said that we must protect our children. The fact that we can stand up here and we know, we can brag about all of the wonderful graduations, but we know, we know the statistics. 50% of children did not pass their end of grade test. What are we celebrating? We have, we have children coming up here telling us how horrible the mental health crisis is. Why? Most of us went to public school and all of our all of our peers are not in mental health crises. We have to ask ourselves, what are we doing to our children? I'm going to say, we are discussing things with them that they are not emotionally, intellectually, and morally able to handle. That is what is causing the anxiety. That is what is causing the depression. That is what is causing the confusion. We need our children to be able to be children, to be able to be innocent, to be able to enjoy childhood and not know all of the drama and all of the difficulties in adult life. The